Hello and welcome to the second episode of the 0 to 100 on 6 hours green stamina challenge. As most of you probably have guessed correctly, instead of stone refiners I will go Mistrock and hunt Cyclops. To reach Mistrock, we first need to get Yalahar access. Buy a pickaxe from the market. Deliver it to the Explorer Society Guild in Fort Hope for the novice rank. Accept the mission from Verdin. Grab a Rimmer Bless on the way, cause why not? And then go by Captain Max in Liberty Bay to Yalahar. Before going to Mistrock, make sure you pack enough stealth rings and that you have the Terror Strike spell. Cyclops are weak against earth damage. The path to Mistrock is simple. Head out west of the depot, cross the stairs, and go all the way west to NPC Maris. He will bring you to Mistrock. Placed my letter at the entrance and took a deep dive into the spawn to check if it was taken. Jackpot! No one here! Just as with the Minos, I would prepare the Cyclops so I could kill them with one hit only. Normal Sykes just needed a single tap and Smiths were safe to always hit twice. Cyclops Jones, on the other hand, cost me two minutes at one point. So I mostly gave them one hit only after this. In total, I spent just over nine minutes of preparing. Let's see how long it takes to reap the rewards. You turn toward me and look so weak. I've never seen you with such tired eyes. And everything we said we'd be. We just traded for a suit coat and a tie. Take your socks and shoes right off That natural light Is so damn polite Can make you feel just like you were young Again Standing underneath of trees, I can see you where the ocean meets the sky. Under our clothes, the fire grows. We are ready for this life of running wild. We're running wild. Underneath the rose of trees, I will see you where the ocean meets the sky. Under your toes. Almost 90,000 experience and only 5 minutes of hunting. However, I lost 7 minutes of stamina because the first kill immediately costs 2 minutes. Remember that for yourself as a penalty for hunts with frequent refills. So in total an XP rate of 770k per hour. Next up I bought Ice Wave and then went to repeat the process. Prepping the spawn in 9.5 minutes, cleaning it in 7 minutes for a total of 114k XP, which results in 765k per hour. And that makes sense, because my XP rate declines with 3% per level. I could have repeated the process on Sykes at least once more. However, it was a rather boring grind. I don't want to do it, you don't want to watch it. Instead, I went to buy Blast to hunt at the more risky place. <laughs> That also required a mount, which couldn't be rented at the moment. 
So I went to the incredibly old witch to get a document. Pay attention to how I make use of the speed from the gin dish in order to get more tries. Exactly two minutes to get the mount. Good time. I bet you already guessed where I'm heading to now. That's right, ancient scarabs. Just had to prep the second prey. And look at that! Two rolls! Yay! Originally this was my plan for level 30, and coming here on a level 25 made me a bit nervous. The last time I did this was when I practiced for the tournament. On that attempt I was coming on only starter gear, almost naked. Magic level 35, and I died within short time. So when you are nervous, things happen. For example, you forget to equip gear. Also, you randomly lure from every direction. You might even forget to use mana potions. And then... I remember just in time. Not yet, guys. Though the initial clear went a bit more hardcore than I had planned for. I will let you watch the struggle of the next minute in real time. Then pick a few scenes before level 30, because mostly, nothing happens. You turn toward me, and look so weak I've never seen you with such tired eyes And everything we said we'd be, we just traded for a suit coat and a tie. Time for GFB. So to look at some numbers, I used 12 minutes of stamina to gain 143 and a half thousand experience. And as it just ticked down a minute, 140k in about 11 minutes. That equals 760k per hour, and is pretty similar to what I did at Sykes. Well now I had praise helping, but I could have sped up my hunt significantly from level 28, if I had brought 50 thunderstorms with me. And it was a lot more fun. So now at level 30, that's where a mage starts. Massive area damage burning everything around you. You still have to be a bit careful in the early 30s though, even with full imbues. Your HP pool sometimes can't handle a double melee hit. Extra range attacks on top of 200 melee damage mean a certain trip to temple. So pathing and knowing how many scarabs lay ahead is crucial. In your low 30s you never want to have scarabs coming from opposite sides. So if you can't finish a pool, don't lure it into the next room. You'll be toast if you have to turn. So, that's it for this episode. For the next episode, please guess my peak experience before level 40 and 50. And also, what level or XP do I have by the end of day 1? See you next time.